But Lola and Fionn, thank you so much for having a chat on 98FM. Thank you. And firstly, great to see you guys back together. I know you worked together on Dating Amber, which I loved. Mm. Was it nice to reunite for Wolf? No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it was. It was, it, was, so. it, was, it, was, um, <laughs> it was. It was amazing. You know, we, like, we felt it wasn't so really a reuniting. So it wasn't a reuniting because we were isolating together. So we finished our isolation um, in a caravan in British Bay and then started a new isolation in a oh. hotel to, to film this. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it's amazing. I mean, to do a film with your best friend once is, is amazing. So to do it twice is, yeah, it's a dream. Amazing. Well, congrats on Wolf. I watched it during the week and I have to say it was such a unique movie, such a, a different concept. What were your reactions when you first read the script? Were you like, I'm all in or I have a few questions? What was your reaction? Yeah, I loved it. I, as soon as I read it, I, I thought Natalie had written such a beautiful script and had dealt with um, kind of all of the themes with such sensitivity and um, also it was just so different from anything I'd ever read and mm-hmm. um, and a completely new challenge as well so uh, it was definitely something uh, I jumped at also I probably won't play a German Shepherd again uh, at any point so uh, yeah it was it was great a unique opportunity yeah. yes and like you were saying the movie deals with species dysphoria mm-hmm. which is something that I had never heard of before you know researching this movie was it something that you had heard of and how did you kind of prepare for that role because you know it very physical of course did you do much research or how did you prepare for the role yeah um I I wasn't very familiar um with it at all before sort of coming across this script and you know I think um when I had seen it dealt with before it sort of felt like um the outside world sort of poking fun and, and not handling things delicately which I think that it was very important for all of us and so there was a lot of research involved um privately and also mm-hmm. as a group and mm. we worked very closely with a movement coach um Natalie was like incredible during it all so I think for us the most important thing was to handle it with care and mm-hmm. yeah it was yeah definitely yeah and Fionn, your character is Rufus, as you were saying, was a German Shepherd. Do you have, is there a dog in your life that helped you to kind of get into character with that? There's or? a dog in my life. I can't <laughs> say I, I talked to the dog in much detail <laughs> about it. Um, but uh, yes, I do have a little um, Bichon Frise. Um, uh, so uh, not quite as intimidating as... A bit as, smaller. Uh, a German, but it, 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 like genuinely, it was really helpful seeing... The, the way um, that she walks around, it, re- it really, it really was, and and um, and then we had kind of um, we had all of lockdown to kind of practice and mm-hmm. stuff like that. So um, I I was I remember saying I was like crawling on the beach yeah. on all fours, and I think one of Mum's friends uh, gave her a call to be like, I don't think your son is handling the lockdown yeah. <laughs> uh, particularly well. I was um, actually really lucky. My friend has these four parrots: Tony, Ryan, Connor, and Graham. Amazing. Which are these like really like like it was so incredible. So I actually got to go over to her house and like That's watch amazing. them. I'm not sure it helped me much. I don't think <laughs> Judith moves that much like a parrot, but. Um, to hang out with four parrots is really incredible. I'm sure they enjoyed the company. I'm not sure I'll do that as, yeah. as research for a film again. <laughs> Strange names for four parrots. <laughs> She's really weird. But I love her. Again? Tony, Ryan, Connor and Graham, the okay. parrots. Okay, a real human names for parrots. Yeah, I, but like <laughs> yeah. animals having human names. Like he's called Rufus in the film. It's always funnier. <laughs> yeah, I love it. But like you were saying, this movie was shot August 2020, which was kind of coming out of first lockdown. Anyway, it was still lockdown time and you were kind of all isolating together. Outside of filming, yeah. what were there things that you did to kind of keep sane? Did you have any lockdown hobbies? We, during the making of the film, uh, we well, we were isolating in a hotel and we couldn't leave. So you give, uh, you know, even if you wanted like something from the shop, you would have to ask someone to go mm-hmm. and, 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 and bring it back because we weren't allowed to leave the grounds of the uh, hotel. Um, which sounds a little bit more intense than it, yeah. than it was. But it, it was, was fine. It was funny because the shopping orders like on the first week we were, we were talking about it that it was like quinoa and avocado and salads and then by week f- four it was pot noodles pot noodle and wine <laughs> yeah. um so uh but yeah we we did things like um there was a beach just outside so we'd be able to go out on the yeah. on the beach and then played board games and jenga and things charades, like yeah charades things which made like us that. a lot closer as like a cast and a crew and a team which was was really nice because we got to spend sort of all our social time was spent together yeah, yeah it gave you a lot of time to, to bond i'm sure which you wouldn't have yeah. had otherwise Um, Now, I know a lot of you, or both of you, will be away a lot filming and you're not in Ireland all the time. And I'm wondering, is there anything that you really miss from Ireland or from Dublin when you're away? Or like when you come back, you can't wait to eat something in particular or go somewhere, especially? 
This pint of Guinness, for sure. I was going to say my family, but, um, oh. but uh, pint of Guinness too. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but, uh, yes, y- yes to uh, Guinness. And but yes also, to family. And yes to family. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I think, I mean... Both of us feel like Ireland's a very special place to us. I know that... Uh, we spent a lot of time in London and stuff together and, and we are always rushing to get home. I'm very much yeah. a home bird. And, you know, I think the very air smells different as soon as you land in the plane. So, yeah, Ireland is... is I, I always want to rush back home. Yeah, I mean, one of the things that we were really looking forward to, kind of, we had, we had shot this and then we were both in London and then the pubs opened and it was like going to Grogan's because we had spent yeah, so much time there. Yeah, Grogan's. And, and being able to just... Um, uh, just some publicity for Grogan's. Um, <laughs> but, Sponsored by Grogan's. But, yeah, yeah, yes. Um, uh, I, I'm not getting money from uh, g- the butt. Just uh, good toasties. Yeah. You'll get free toasties now. Yeah, but, but hopefully. Everyone's um, dream. But, but genuinely, that was like somewhere that we had spent so much time and um, and it was so nice being able to go back there and, and see kind of everyone out again and, and, and kind of... Yeah, it was just really, really lovely. Yeah, there's a real sense of community there, I think. Oh. Um, and finally, I suppose, I mean, I was in the office today telling everyone about Wolf and how great it is and trying to sum it up. So if you could sum it up to someone who's thinking of going, what can they expect when they get to the cinema? Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, you you probably had as much, uh, yeah, <laughs> as much difficulty <laughs> describing it as we will. But um, I think, uh, well, I, I guess uh, it's, it's, uh, it's about species dysphoria and... Uh, it's about um, uh, a boy named um, Jacob who uh, gets sent to a clinic that specialises in uh, extreme curative therapy. And uh, he goes there and meets all the um, other patients. And um, this isn't a great sell. Uh, it, it is very it, it's I funny didn't say as in well. one sentence either, so you can take as long as you want. Okay. <laughs> okay. It, 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 no, that, that's what I'll, I'll set it up. <laughs> With that, it is like it, it is a really, and obviously I'm biased. I mean, it, it, it's a really spectacular film. I, I love it so much, and and I'm I'm in awe of what Natalie did, and, and George and, and Lily are just really phenomenal. So, um, yeah, uh, please uh, go and see it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a fantastic movie, Lola and Fionn. Thank you so much for your time and thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.